Kia ora, I'm David Chaster with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news global economic attention should have been shifting to tomorrow's US labour market report for September, but the US waterfront strike and the Middle East tensions has sidelined it. However, first in the US, there was a minor dip in the actual number of initial jobless claims last week, but a lesser dip than expected. There are now just 1.62 million people on these benefits, the lowest level since November 2023. And as you would expect, the level of job cuts in the US has remained very low. Tomorrow's non-farm labour market report is expected to show a rise of payroll jobs of 130,000. Perhaps in something of a surprise after the wavering factory PMI, the ISM services PMI came in much better than expected in the US. It revealed the strongest growth in this sector since February 2023, amid faster increases in business activity and new orders. And that was mirrored by the internationally benchmarked version. The US East Coast and Gulf port strike is entering its third day unresolved, but there are signs of progress in negotiations. And the Canadian port strike has ended now. In the EU, there are signs that producer prices are rising again, up 0.4% in the block in August from July, but down 2.3% for the year to August, which was a lesser rate of decline from the prior month. And later today, the EU is expected to approve an increase in tariffs to as much as 45% in electric cars imported from China, a move that officials said would help protect European car makers from a glut of cheaper vehicles directly subsidised by Beijing. And container freight rates fell another 5% last week as weak demand overcame the cost of security issues in the Middle East, but that only dipped prices to 146% higher than pre-pandemic levels. Last week's weakness was mainly outbound China to Europe. And the US Treasury 10-year yield is now just on 3.84% and up another six basis points from yesterday. The price of gold will start today at $2,655 an ounce, up $5. Oil prices are up three dollars fifty. They're just on seventy three fifty a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is still just under seventy seven fifty a barrel. Middle East tensions are now starting to affect these prices as the never ending retaliation cycle shows no sign of ending. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at just on sixty two point two US cents and down a half a cent from yesterday. Against the Aussie, we're down 20 basis points at 90.8 Australian cents. Against the euro, we're down 40 basis points at 56.4 euro cents. That all means our trade-weighted index starts today at just under 70 and down 30 basis points from yesterday. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again on Monday.